He had to actually, you know, maintain his one match suspension until groups came out, kick it, yeah. kick it out, and other anti racism uh, bodies came out. Uh, or even had to threaten uh, or strike oh, black yeah. players before they thought. Okay, well, what are we doing here? Yeah, let's just say it. it didn't make any sense. Okay. This guy was in serious trouble and he was just protesting and you you give him a yellow card and uh, ridiculous and decisions like that. But uh, that's been overturned now, so that's on our side. What we're waiting for now is uh, action. The, the, the action, the, the, the punishment for uh, those fans uh, because uh, the they Syria... They said they were just the, fans. So, so what? They couldn't, so no, what? They can't so, join, so, so just come fans. on, come so it's on. Not like, you know what, let's come listen on. to uh, Fatman Samora, FIFA Secretary General. I don't have to call people any time that they have been victim of an abuse. We have a committee that is in charge of monitoring those actions and the committee will take action. And we've been very severe in Europe, in Latin America, we've been regularly uh, public, uh, publicizing the action of the committee on every action that relates to West's action, to form of homophobic chance, to any kind of discrimination and once again it is not the task force that is taking the action and that is fighting discrimination they had a task to perform they have made the recommendation and FIFA went even beyond the four main recommendation we have a monitoring tool on anti-discrimination we have heavy sanction on every time that we have been receiving reports. For me, it's absolutely zero tolerance policy within FIFA when it comes to racism. Zero tolerance. I myself being under attacked on a daily basis, including from people from your side. The disciplinary committee has to act, and the sooner the better. I have my personal feelings on anybody that is treated like he has been treated on the speech and off the pitch. But I'm not, I'm not here for my personal matters. I'm here to make sure that FIFA takes through the committee the appropriate action for any single discriminatory action. Yeah, she just had to make sure it's done. And FIFA, they're having their executive council meeting today ahead of the Congress on Thursday in Bahrain. And of course, maybe this will just be one of the issues they will have to discuss. We know the Palestinian and Israeli issues on them having some clubs in their, you know, protected areas. But then that's a major issue. But then this one may even have to come to full because they know they have to think of maybe stiffer sanctions or severe punishment for those fans who keep doing that because it's becoming a recurring thing now. Of course it is, um, especially um, in Italy and uh, you have them in uh, Russia as well. So, so it's all about um, the, the punitive measures. Um, they are not obviously... They should be more severe. They're not strong enough, yeah. So okay. uh, FIFA have to work on that. They have a task and force in charge of this kind of situation. So let them start working really so um, perhaps uh, we can just stamp our racism uh, out all together. Football. But Montari, the man you know, who's been you know, who's been a under center. the spotlight and was out of, grabbed all these, you know, wanted headlines and let's put it that way. He's, he's been, you know, uh, reacting as well to, and he has a very uh, clear message uh, for victims of uh, racial abuse. I went off the field because I felt it, because um, I felt it wasn't right for me to be on the field um, whilst um, I, I, I've been... Um, uh, racial abuse, so I went off because I wanted to, because I have the right to do that. And um, been the last week, uh, I went through hell. Um, was treated just like a criminal, but anyway, um, my message to to many abuses, um, the racial abuses. Any form of abuse, you should not get scared to talk. You should speak up in order to set yourself free. And um, you shouldn't be scared of anybody because you're strong. So you should come out and say whatever you want to say because it's you. No one will change. You have to make the change. 
Okay, Suleiman Montari uh, giving a very clear message uh, to victims of um, racial abuse out there. And he also says um, he will, you know, do it again if he has to, uh, that is, walk off the pitch if he gets uh, abused again. And um, the authorities in charge, obviously, have to do something about this situation as soon as possible.